Previously on the Dragon Ball Prediction. Now let's talk about the Universe Survival Saga characters, that being the God of Destruction, and enters into 12 universes along with the participants. Also, there might be a chance that those 12 angels and the Gods of Destruction will be able to use their powers to defeat the antagonists and to help out Goku defeat the main antagonist, Tiren. It starts off at the Forge for Tom Six and Sarah B4 are up now. Tom Six activates the broadcast button on his chair, and GT clips are shown and ends with the hashtag Dragon Ball GT, and then the opening starts. Since there's no eye catch on the broadcast airing, it'll air a we'll be right back bumper and go straight to the commercial. 24 hours later. Don't forget to subscribe! And it continues. Also, Natalie forgot to pronounce wheeze correctly, like Patrick saying wheeze without a T. Also, ending two, don't you see, was sung by Stephanie Young in English. Yes, Nico Robin herself sung it in the Green Bricks. Also, guys, Grand Vienno, who is voiced by Sarah Widenhef, will appear as he is friends with Goku. It will be explained in the next part. So without further ado, let's... Stop! Team Pikachu Productions! Welcome back everyone with three, part 3.5 of the Blu-ray Remastered Prediction video. In this video we will talk about the characters with the Z-Fighters. We are not counting TN. Chaozu, Yamcha, Piccolo, because they will make cameo appearances. So, I will list voice actors from Z, Pi, Super, and other Funimation properties that will, can, or cannot appear. So let's get started. The Dragon Team, aka the Z Fighters. First up is Goku. He is voiced by Sean Schemmel. Goku is one of the strongest mortal warriors in Universe 7, with the majority of the multiverse referring to him as the fittest among them during the Tournament of Power, and one of the most powerful characters in the franchise. A prodigy of combat, he learned a great deal while a young child and would continue to near effortlessly learn practically any new technique he encountered. His natural talent for battle along with his unwavering drive have taken his power to unprecedented levels. Ultimately, his might rivals the strongest mortal warriors in the multiverse and even the gods of destruction on occasion. In addition, Colleen Klinkenbeard will continue to voice Goku's younger self, Kid Goku. Next on the list is Piccolo. He is voiced by Christopher Sabat. Piccolo is the most powerful Namekian in Universe 7 and Universe 6, with Grand Elder Guru remarking him to be a prodigy amongst prodigies, even as strong enough to stand up to Super Saiyan. Piccolo has been the strongest Z-Fighter in the series at two points. When he fuses with Nail to battle Frieza, and after he fuses with Kami to become the nameless Nakimian again in order to combat the androids. Though the rest of the series, he has tended to rank in power below Goku and Vegeta, but above Tien and Krillin. His special techniques often allow him to damage opponents with raw power higher than his own by concentrating it into a single attack, most notably the special Beam Cannon. Next on the list is Bulma. She is voiced by Monica Rial. According to the movie pamphlet for Dragon Ball Z The Tree of Might, it states that Bulma has a power level of 12. While in the video game, Dragon Ball Z, the anime adventure game, their power level is 16. Next, we have Master Roshi. He is voiced by Mike McFarlane. Master Roshi is among one of the strongest humans in history and the strongest fighter of his generation. A legendary champion of the World Martial Arts Tournament, simply knowing that students of his were competing in the set tournament lifts all spectators in awe. Despite his advanced age reducing his natural stamina and endurance while also reducing his peak performance, he makes up for it with both super efficiency both physically and mentally. 
able to easily read his opponent's movements and battle tactics, allowing him to move them with minimal effort. His experience and in intuition have honed his natural instincts to become fully aware of his surroundings to the point, practically being able to move against threats automatically. Next is Krillin. He is voiced by Sonny Strait. Despite being regarded as a weakling compared to his Saiyan comrades, in truth, he is the strongest Earthling warrior. In addition, combining with his own battle tactics make him a skilled fighter. Due to him being portrayed often as a comic relief character by the latter half of Dragon Ball Z, his true power is never really seen. When the time counts, however, he can catch opponents more powerful than him off guard. His fighting style also employs misdirection, giving him a further advantage. Next we have Gohan. He is voiced by Kyle Hebert. As he got older and continued to train, he gradually became able to access larger portions of his power while retaining conscious control of himself. It was not until he was a young adult he could fully access his true capabilities at will. Even afterwards, however, Gohan's potential growth was still seeming limitless as he would still show a mighty increase of power from his rage or desire as would regularly training. Next we have Videl. She is voiced by Kara Edwards. Unlike other fighters who have a balanced mix of physical and energy based techniques, Videl only uses only pure physical attacks. Next we have Vegeta. He is voiced by Chris Sabat. Vegeta is one of the most powerful mortal warriors in Universe 7 and the multiverse as a whole. From a young age, Vegeta showed tremendous power even by the standards of first class warriors in the royal bloodline of the Saiyan race. King Vegeta pridefully stated that Vegeta greatly broke all previous records in Saiyan history. Vegeta has even noticed that his entire combat experience and fighting style is purely self-taught having grown up with no teachers, further showcasing his prodigious talents, and is noted to have even surpassed his father, King Vegeta. Next on the list, we have Trunks. She is voiced by Colleen Plinkenbeard as a baby, Alexis Tipton as a child in Dragon Ball Super, and Eric Bale as an adult. I might also point out, since Laura Daly is no longer on Dragon Ball Z, Alexis Tipton will take over as Trunks, Holly in episode 31, the reporter on episode 40, Oceanus Shenron, aka Princess Otau. Oh, Alex will be voicing these characters since Bailey is working on First Class Skip Brotherhood before retiring and moving on to be a mom in motion capture acting. Trunks was able to achieve the Super Saiyan form much earlier than his father and future counterpart. Due to a combination of his Saiyan heritage and having trained under his father Vegeta at an early age, Trunks was a capable fighter. He continuously trains with his father Vegeta in the gravity room because Vegeta wants Trunks to be stronger than Goten. While preparing for the 25th World Martial Arts Tournament, training under 100 times gravity is challenging for Trunks. However, when he transforms into a Super Saiyan, he is able to move easily in the gravity room. Next, we have Android 18. She is voiced by Meredith McCoy. Android 18 is extremely powerful, able to easily overpower even a typical Super Saiyan. Android 18's power is described to be suppressed compared to his brother, her brother, Android 17. Her raw strength is able to casually break free from confines like handcuffs and just as effortlessly lift and toss large vehicles. Next on the list is Goten. He is voiced by Robert McCollum. In Dragon Ball GT by the Baby Saga, Goten has grown more powerful. When Baby attacks the Earth, he is strong enough to take him on. Though even when Goten used the Kamehameha, he was unable to eliminate Baby, allowing the tuffle to take over his body. Super Saiyan Baby Goten is able to fight on par with base Gohan and forces him to turn Super Saiyan by powering up and using an explosive wave. Super Saiyan infected Gohan is at a disadvantage against base Goku and is beaten back. However, in the English dub, it is noted by Baby Vegeta that Oob is more powerful than the infected Gohan, Goten, and Trunks combined it. 
Next, we have Mr. Satan. He is voiced by Chris Radner. Although very weak when compared to Goku and the others, Mr. Satan is a skilled martial artist whose strength exceeds that of regular people. His strength is much greater than that of normal humans like the evil gunman Van, Smi Van Vant and Smitty. And it is higher than that of a martial artist like Spokovich. Mr. Satan also seemingly has superhuman levels of strength and speed. Demonstrated as when he moves so fast he vanishes from sight, making it appears like he is teleporting, pulls four buses single-handedly and punches a hole in one, tearing multiple phone books in half, and crushes 14 tiles simultaneously with a chop. Also, we have Good Boo. He is voiced by Josh Martin. Upon his initial appearance, Good Boo is weaker than Evil Boo, with the majority of Innocent Boo's power having gone to his evil side. Evil Boo is a manifestation of Majin Boo's rage, thereby allowing him to focus his energy to even greater levels and rendering Good Boo unable to gain strength through rage as effectively as Innocent Boo could. Regardless, he is still recognized by his newfound allies as easily one of the strongest warriors in the universe. Next, we have Oob. He is voiced by Sean T. Oob is the most powerful pure earthling to exist in a Dragon Ball Z series. Oob has a massive amount of hidden potential, but can only access it out of anger. When Oob is very young, Dende describes him to be a brilliant martial artist. In his battle with Goku at the end of Dragon Ball Z, when Oob is angry, he is shown capable of holding his own against him. During their fight, Oob is able to match Goku's base form speed while he was learning how to fight. Next, we have Pan. She is voiced by Kate Bristol as a toddler, Jeannie Tirado as a baby, and Elise Bowman in most media. In the Baby Saga, Pan is able to defeat Matt in this, of the Sigma Force and is strong enough to knock down base form General Rildo, whose ki is stronger than Boo's. In two blows and after witnessing this, a shock trunks asks if Pan was stronger than him. However, during her second attempt on a now serious Rildo, had barely even phased the General though in turn, she was barely faced by his attack against her. However, before she and her grandfather were encased in metal by Meta Rildo's metal breath, Pan was able to dodge a, a swipe and from the transformed general and even knock him away with a single kick. She is also able to easily defeat Infant Baby alongside her grandfather and Trunks and it is impossible for Pan to escape from 68.47x gravity. And finally, we have Bulla. She is voiced by Bryn April as a baby and Lauren Londa as a kid. Akira Toyama has stated that Bulla is strong, also though she hasn't participated in a battle. Unlike her father and brother, Bulla is not a fighter, despite also being strong preferring to shop rather than train. The Dragon Ball GT Perfect Files implies that since she has inherited Saiyan blood, Bulla has the potential to turn Super Saiyan when the proper conditions are met, such as the arrival of the evilest of dangers. There won't be an outro, so I'm going to let Caesar say something in the end. Next time, we will talk about the allies of the Dragon Team and the returning villains like Cooler, Bojack, and if they were killed by either Goku, Vegeta, or Gohan, and see if they can make a cameo in the Super 17 Saga Part 3.8. And Part 4, the Shadow Dragon villains, however the other form of Oceanus, will be recasted by someone else. Even so, Alexis Tipton will voice this as she has almost of Laura Bailey's voice and talent experience. So, the male form will be recasted thanks to Zabbat's wife, Tabitha.